Hey guys, so Wednesday's CrossFit class is a partner workout. Um, you have got a 24 minute AMRAP, but it's actually actually a ladder. Okay, so you're gonna be working up repetitions, working alternating rounds with your partner. So 24 minute AMRAP, so you'll set a clock for 24 minutes. And partner one will do three thrusters, three tuck ups and three burpees. Partner two will do three, three, three. Then partner one will do six thrusters, six tuck ups, six burpees. Then partner two will do six, six, six. And you keep going up that ladder, so three, six, nine, 12, 15, etc., until 24 minutes is up. So it's going to be a pretty tough workout. All those movements are quite hard, and when they're combined, they're even tougher, particularly burpees and tuck ups, I find. Um, so it should be a really decent workout. Pretty tough, though. Okay. Um, so obviously, this is the kind of workout you could easily do on Zoom um, or um, like online with somebody because you can stay in one place um, in your living room or whatnot but it is a good one also to sort of meet up and do as well um, depends if you're going to brave the cold or not um, so yeah that's the gist of the workout if you are doing single arm thrusters then just try your best to sort of equally distribute your thrusters so if it was me I would do the three on my right side then I would equally distribute the six then I'd do uh, the nine on my left side equally distribute the next equal number i'd just try and do it that way that way you're you're kind of you're not always doing your strongest side because that would probably be my go-to always do it on my right because i know that's strongest um so just try and distribute it as, as equally as possible if you can't perform tuck-ups as well sit-ups is another variation that you could do as a scaling variation okay so i will demo those movements first then i'll go through a potential warm-up for you so thruster um i haven't got my dumbbell with me so my controller is going to be my weight okay so you've got your thruster so a full squat overhead okay just go a little bit out there thruster overhead okay switch arms do the same on the other side full squat overhead okay lovely stuff then your other movement you've got is your tuck up so hollow position tucking the whole body up to the top if you want to scale it you can do a sit up all the way through and then you've got your burpee all the way down to the floor and then jump and clap at the top okay nice and simple on those movements it is a very simple workout but it's going to be pretty effective it will be tough okay uh, okay so for your warm-up what i would do you want to obviously get your heart rate up so i would do three rounds of the following first movement 50 mountain climbers okay 10 lunges just to get those legs involved get them moving okay and then five burpees okay so 50 mountain climbers 10 lunges five burpees three times through after that, we'll go through a variation of stretches to get you ready for the movements. So your first movement is going to be a thruster. So your squat needs to be warm. So you would go for our standard stretch, most effective stretch for your squat. Just push your hips through, then get nice and deep into this. Get your elbow nice and low. And just hold this stretch for about 30, 40 seconds. Get a little bit of rotational work. Maybe do some actual rotations. Okay, and then switch legs. And do the same on the other side. Same again, just some rotations in there. Get really nice and warm. And then just warming up, getting into the bottom of that squat. I would go down into the bottom of the squat, grab your feet, and just get a little bit of rotational work side to side. And then from there, push your hips up towards the ceiling and then back down into your squat. I'd go five reps, nice and controlled. Okay, once you've done there, I would then get your upper body involved and get a little bit of rotational work. Five reps on each side. If you notice, I have no rotation. Okay, then the overhead part of the thruster. Just go for my usual overhead stretch, standard stuff. That does not feel good. <laughs> Again, hold that for 30, 40 seconds. Get a little bit of movement up and down into that movement, okay? And then after that, we'll just go through the movements, make sure they're warm. So I would grab your weight, 
do some thrusters, um, single arm variations, especially if you are going double, do single arm first to get really, really nice and warm. Okay. And then for your tuck ups, I would do a set of 10 sit ups just to get moving on those. So just your full sit up all the way through. And then before you do your burpees in the workout, I would just stretch off across your posterior chain into your chest, like so. So do these are called scorpions, so I'll do five on each side. Okay. And then recover there. After that, no more, no more than sort of ten thrusters, five tuck ups and five burpees before you start because otherwise you're gonna overdo it. Hope you enjoy the workout.